Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Another transmission of energy, of consciousness, of spirit. Much respect to all of my beautiful starseed family and indigo children. Come on in, light workers. Come on in, empaths. What's going on? How are you doing today? I thank all of you who are going to be joining. I appreciate your company, this community. It's important for me. I know it's important for some of you. How are you doing, holy ones? <laughs> Much respect. And I'm so grateful that you're spending your Tuesday with us so we can bring our ceremony, right? Our camaraderie. <laughs> our, our, I see a lot of you even becoming friends inside the chat and, and meeting each other in the Discord server. So thank you guys um, for coming together because we're, we need each other. <laughs> we need this shield, okay? This team, um, what you call Team Indigo, okay? We came in here, we incarnated together. This is our purpose. This is our journey. <laughs> and so it's going to be kind of like a little uh, celebration and um, I can't wait to, to uh, for the next live because I'll I'll, exp I'll talk about that because it's gonna be something different. Um, but I, I want to make sure that we got sound and lights and cameras and and homies coming on in to the house. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got some homies, some legitimate star seed vato locos in the house. Excuse me. We got Cosmic Lighthouse. Greetings, Holy One. UTD, uh, no fail there. What's up, homeboy, homegirl? <laughs> uh, Celine Machiwa to you, sister. Good to see you, Sarah Holder. Mr. Williams25, much love from Andromeda. I love those Andromeda and energies, yes. <laughs> we got Flaming Jewels, Montana Moore. I missed you too, Flaming. Flamin Jules, <laughs> Flamin, right? Alf Ophelia, caught alive. Yes, you did, Holy One. <laughs> M. Lawrence, time for some wisdom. What's going on? You ready for some codes? <laughs> Amy, thank you, Davian. Toronto, love you, Th Toronto, Canada. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Canada. Jared Umberger, we have people from all over. Uh, my favorite cosmic homie, what's up, Jared? <laughs> and you guys, it's so awesome to see your positive, you know, comments and because you know I get some negative comments and I'm used to that. You know, some of us are healers, some of us are warriors. I consider myself a warrior and I can handle it, and so I think this is part of my commission, right? So I'll have to deal with, you know, certain frequencies while I'm here. And we have to have the stomach for it, right? To be able to handle that, not be one of those ones who are too sensitive. If you're too sensitive, fine. Okay, you're not meant to be up on the front lines. Um, I can deal with other people's toxic energy, or I can deal with their hate. Right, so some people don't know how to deal with that, and they let it allow it to affect them. As light workers. We learn how to transmute. Okay, when someone comes with negative vibes, you know how to kind of like this term in Aikido. When someone's come at you with force, they, they kind of move that force and they and they kind of like fall on their ass, right? <laughs> we're not trying to do that to people. We're simply we're not meant to be punching bags, okay? Uh, we are light, we are loving, we are you would say, you know, respectful and honorable. That's our code as light workers, and so uh, we know how to exchange with with love. Okay, we don't react, or you know, because a lot of these people are with low vibrations and ignorance, and don't care how other people feel or how they treat other people. They, they and they're they're in a low vibration. A low awareness. They may not even be aware. There's, you know, like, it's more of a subconscious or part of their 
soul will obviously know what's going on. But thank you guys for being here. I'm glad to see you, Guardians. Helena. Rag XX Muffins in the house. And if you guys ever have any um, questions tonight, just write Christos Avatar with your question so it becomes highlighted. And we have 42 souls in the house. Two minutes and 22 seconds. Two, two, two. Wow. Average view duration. That's because it just started. That's, an, that's a number. Please, someone put that in chat. I claim that. Two, two, two. And so can you. <laughs> this will be one of the first of several, you know, alignments. Kind of like signs. It already changed to 241. But we're, we're the light workers. We choose with our free will to serve light. And other people are not mindful. Maybe they're not making any choice or they're just kind of meandering through life. That is their path if they choose. But we choose as light workers and empaths, you know, those of us awakening and representing. It's kind of like a light worker knows, well, it's, it comes to a, a realization within, within oneself that they're a light worker and that they want to do service to others. They're here to, to bring light, to shine light. Okay, and so that means you align yourself with the characteristics of light, with the thoughts of light, with the actions of light, with the reactions of light. Okay, we don't go into a toxic mood. <laughs> two, two, two. Thank you, Holy Ones. Um, we are um, keeping a high vibration. And as a matter of fact, we learn how to heal others and ourselves with that healing vibration. We, as light workers, we're going to learn how to run energy through our bodies, to run energy, you know, it's called our prana tube, okay, that goes up and down. So it's bringing life force energy because realize the life force energy has a path. It goes through the different densities, the different dimensions. It goes through, so it's going to be going through different Merkabas, different um, stargates. And the universal stargates are feeding this, kind of like a highway of, of God's energy, of life force energy, of creation currents. And it feeds into the planet, different planets, feeds into our planet, and then it feeds into ours. So it goes through the Pluronic tube from the planet to us. And so when you do visualizations, like in the Emerald Order teachings and the techniques, you imagine the center of Earth. It's a round planet, not flat Earth nonsense. So you realize the center and you go to the center with your visualization in your third eye. With your eyes closed, you'll be able to see the center of the Earth and you'll be able to see, you can see Earth's Merkaba. You can see the 13th chakra is in the middle of the earth. Okay, the, and then there's a field, more of like a plane, a disc shaped plane uh, that is like the in the middle of earth, all the way around it, kind of like Saturn has a ring, but it's not that, but it's like a, a ring around because there's a disc in it, a cylindrical disc in the middle of earth that's an energy structure. You don't see it with your eyes, and for this eye, you will see the disc. And you see colors, you see orbs, you see connections. We learn how to run energy that, we, we learn how to bring in that creation currents from the planet. It's being fed through the planet, through to us, but we, we make that, you would say, a technique. So we can, whenever we want to, go into stillness, go into meditation, and bring this energy, and here you are, okay? Because it's not the same thing as uh, Reiki masters. We're not hating on them. We're just saying, in this teachings, we're bringing in energy through specific, uh, you would say, visualizations. Because we're using light, okay? When you see something in your mind, that's light. We're using sound, and we're using six-pointed star like a symbol code. And we visualize the star and move the star while well, you're moving frequency. And these are techniques of how the guardians are, are teaching and, and sharing with us. And so as a light worker, it is in your best interest to learn how to run energy, learn how to run currents. And so 
I mean, maybe you're not born psychic, you guys, but you can become psychic in your life now, right now. You could train and practice activating your chakra. You see the spheres, a little ball of energy. Um, I have a crystal ball. Let me get this crystal ball. Be careful how I sit on these. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, these are too big. I wanted to show you like this size. I mean, it's not exactly, you don't have to make it exactly the size. This is just an example. You see, this would be your throat chakra if it was blue. This is the indigo chakra. Okay. And then you would, <laughs> thank you for that. Wow. <laughs> um, in the solar plexus area, you would have a round ball a round yellow ball of energy. Um, you can think of them as stars, Merkabas, like a, a either a ball or a, because we're using both symbols and we're using star symbols. We're using, like the mentor technique is we're bringing a ball of energy up from, you know, behind the navel is you'll visualize the blue flame and then you'll, you'll go inside the blue flame, you'll see uh, this uh, sphere and then you put your consciousness into that sphere and now you visualize you're surrounded by your, that white energy. It's a white sphere. Okay. Um, and so you're inside the, now you start visualizing yourself inside the sphere. See, this is the kind of things that light workers do. This is the kind of things we do in Cathara in these teachings. And so you learn how to bring up in the mentor technique, you're going to be bringing it up from the blue flame behind the navel up up, up to your third eye, pure white ball, okay? After you spend time visualizing it right in the middle of your third eye, it's gonna go to your right, and the camera is probably left, but it goes to your right. You don't look at it and watch it, you just see it from your peripheral. It goes here, above your shoulder, side of your head, right? Then it goes up, above your head, but it's to the side, above your head. Now you'll see it go from this size to a, to a, a basketball size and that is your mentor this giant basketball size white sphere of energy is right above your shoulder and you just did the technique to put it there now you do the technique of doing the Merkaba now you see a white pointed star put that to the side now you see a dark gray star now you put the two stars together now you have a silver like a chrome mercury liquid mercury type of color right chrome color now you have a now you because you put those two colors so in the back of your mind, you know there's two stars within this technique. Okay, so now you have this star, you're gonna shoot it down, your prana tube I just mentioned earlier, it's gonna go to the middle of the earth. Then this spinning sphere of uh, two stars into one star, change into a sphere. Come out of the sphere is this energy, like a, the one I just mentioned, the one in the middle of the earth. You see it come out of the sphere that you, your sphere, grow into, encompassing the entire area and encompassing the entire state, the city, state, this, the country, the, the entire planet until you see it in your mind's eye, earth and this liquid mercury field around, not field, a, a plane, a disc plane in the middle of it. So these are the things you're going to learn and then you're going to pull energy from that. Okay. As a light worker, you're going to learn how to do these techniques. And so, this is something that we learn in, in these freedom teachings, what we call the Emerald Order teachings, also called the Inner Christos, Law of One. So we're all about unity. We're all about uniting together. And that's what light workers are. They're full of love. I mean, it's not easy to always be loving, right? But we find it, we, we, we are trying to transform ourselves, okay? We know there's shadow down here. That's why we do shadow work. We do ego work, get ourselves out of ego and out of shadow, cleanse ourselves, go on a strict spiritual diet um, and be mindful and aware of what we speak, what we naturally organically think. If you got some twisted thoughts, you want to clean that up. It's not about guilt or sin. That's religion's path. Our path is about energy and frequency. 
So it's not about, oh, I'm, I'm being guilty. I'm being this horrible sinner. No, transmute that. That's, pre, that's cult. That's programming. Um, we want to become this, you want to come to this realization of unity consciousness and Christ consciousness. Okay, unity is realizing that the, the sacred law of one, that all are one. If you can understand that inside your energy, your whole life will change. It's not easy. It takes time. Maybe it'll take months or a year or years to, to get really, really get the law of one. And so um, that's what we strive to do, to bring unity. And then we work on our Christ consciousness, which is 12th dimensional frequency. It is a pure white star. Can you visualize the pure white Merkaba? Six-pointed star? The star of David? We don't connect to David. We're just saying it's historically known. This shape is known as a six-pointed star or the star of David. So we're bringing in the six-pointed star frequency of, of pure white. That is the Christ star. That's why you hear us practicing this affirmation, I am Christ star. Well, when you're saying that, visualize a six-pointed white star in the middle of your forehead. You get in the third eye. You get used to seeing things in your third eye constantly as a light worker, as a person psychic who's working and developing energies. One, one, one. Please, someone write that in the comments. I claim that. 111 views right now. Um, so I told you there's going to be more numbers, right? Within a few minutes of time. <laughs> two, two, two. One, one, one. What's going on? What's up? So yeah, we, we get used to that. Let's let's check out the family. What's going on, homies? I shall prevail. Qigong. You said it, holy one. Qi, Qi. What's going on? Some people say Oregon. Stephen Oswald sending love in the house. Lady Jade, 76. Hello, familiar. Yes, thank you, guys. We, we, we claim that. We're building this frequency together. <laughs> All oneness, joy, says Tracy, uh, gratefulness, grace, love. Those are all affirmations. We, we say positive affirmations. Other people will look at us and think we're ridiculous or silly or absurd even. You know, They'll make fun of us. Hey, don't let that ruin your day. As a matter of fact, we said ego work and shadow work, but also do some work based on not allowing others. Get used to not allowing others to frustrate fluster you to to get reactions negative reactions out of you uh, you'll get to a point where you won't really care what other people say and you actually don't need them to believe in what your affirmations you can still uh, live in joy in peace in bliss if you're surrounded by a bunch of jerks or fa or you know vampires you know energy vampires so you will be in the middle of a hurricane in that stillness and there's a whole bunch of stuff happening around here there could be world war three but you are in your space this is what you want to be able to do okay there is no fear in a light worker you don't want that doesn't serve you okay you stand in your light you stand in your confidence in your conviction uh, that you're with you're a christ star because you're practicing Christ consciousness. You're bringing in unity consciousness. You're bringing in your, your fourth dimensional energy. You're bringing in your fifth dimensional energy. You're one of those people who sit in stillness. You're those kind of people who do affirmations. You're those kind of people who are drinking healthy teas, who are, who are doing a healthy diet, who are loving people, who are sweet with people. Okay, you go to religion, you're going to get judgment. You're going to get things based on fear. Uh, you're going to get, uh, you know, subservience. Uh, you, you're shameful or, you know, or negative sh stuff. We're, we, we transmute that. We'll get haters, even in our own family, in our, and even in our own friends. They can say and do whatever they want. They have their free will. Okay, you, you put boundaries on those people. Okay, you, you are... Or sometimes even have to divorce someone. You have to break up with someone. You have to move on um, with those energies that no longer serve you. When we say energies, that means people. That can mean people. That can mean, you know, relations. 
something in your job, something in your work, something at home, something with your lover. Uh, so we're learning how to uh, heal. Light workers, if they're good at something, they're good at healing. Okay, so uh, that is an important component. Helena Christos Avatar, a.k.a. Davian. What's up, Machiwa, a.k.a. Anuhazi? <laughs> Thank you for being here on the live, Holy One. I shall prevail. Affirmations are words with power, for they resonate while they may laugh and mock. They, dis yeah, they disempower themselves. And we who are as I am remain as we always well said, we're forever. Well said, Hasha. Thank you for sharing, by the way. <laughs> and, and that's what I mean. We, we uh, are bringing this truth. This is our truth. Uh, religious people have their... I'm, I'm mentioning them only because I've made these past two religious videos. You know, people um, about the Bible, the distortions in the Bible, about the distortions in Yahweh, Jehovah. And you get all kinds of people coming out of the woodwork. And even when you tell them all about all the torture and the hatred, because there is a verse in the Bible where God says, I hate you, Israel. <laughs> you don't believe me, you look it up. Um, what kind of being has hate? What kind of being kills babies? All those thousands of babies. Who knows how many? There must have been thousands of babies murdered in Egypt. Um, so, But you will see these people we call rationalizing and saying, oh, it's okay that God does this um, judgment and torture and, you know, Jesus was tortured. You go to the lake of fire, you're tortured. This is a God of torture. <laughs> okay, so we are dismissing and, and and people will say their shit. People will say, you know, attack your beliefs. They will judge your beliefs. That's what this energy does. This energy is vampiric. So guess what? As a light worker, you can expect to be energetically attacked. Whether it's emotion, whether it's words. Words can be weapons. Okay? They hurt. Okay? Uh, people are going to attack you with manipulation. Um, some people are going to try to pull a light worker down. They don't want you shining their light. Or your light makes them realize how they're not light. So they will attack that which is a threat to their lifestyle or their thinking. And so um, realize the planet is a mess. This is why the planet needs light workers. Why we need guardians and star seeds and indigo children who are bringing in the high vibe the high consciousness the higher you know conversations dialogues okay we're bringing it we're part of ascension you guys i mean we're part of the planet's ascension we're part of the earth seeds ascension it's actually necessary for us to be here um and so it's because Realize we're coming from the astral, the fourth dimension. We're coming from the archetype, the fifth dimension. We're also coming from the sixth dimension. And coming, we, we come from those worlds. And we're bringing from those worlds and those levels to the 3 d drama. Okay? To this spiritual bondage down here. To this spiritual war. We're bringing our codes from those higher levels. That's why we're here. We bring the high levels to take the average consciousness and raise it. Okay? When you got a bunch of pool, imagine a pool of 3D vibes, 3D awareness, 3D consciousness. You sprinkle some fourth dimensional consciousness, you sprinkle some five, fifth dimensional and sixth dimensional consciousness, that makes the average go up. That brings the opportunity for individuals to claim fourth dimensional potential claim their fifth dimensional potential because you're here you're dropping codes bottles uh you're dropping conversations you're bringing in these uh guardian type of light worker type of relationships <laughs> okay we're the ones transmuting this energy 
there's a there's billions of people who believe in a in a fallen angelic god as the holy being we're needed here okay there's no religions out here in the in the galaxy and i mean in the universal levels it's a universal law of one there's no dogma up there i mean in the guardians you know the guardian angelic nations uh, there's no dogma okay we're we're coming from that identity we're coming from that alignment now of course there's a lot of new age light workers okay that's another story where we're talking we're we're bringing the you would say perspective of the crystals how often do you talk about crystals correct right so the guardians call christ christos and we talk about how it is a consciousness god is a consciousness by the way god's not a boy or a girl um you would say the creator is beyond gender uh we ourselves and our higher consciousness are beyond these levels of body form and we're beyond the dogma and on, some of us still remember some of us are bringing in that memory and because you know once upon a time the human race was blessed you mean as a race i mean we were in a blessed state everything's blessed what i'm saying is we we, we were standing in our light we were all light workers our kids knew how to run frequency a starseed kid <laughs> you know up there in the fifth dimension um sixth dimension uh, we're serving law of one we we are we know how to heal that's why we're immortal eventually you won't need to heal that the body the body the dna you just have to heal the consciousness okay uh, here we got to heal the body in order to heal the consciousness we're in a reverse state as a matter of fact two-thirds of the planet's grids have been reversed that's a majority two-thirds is a majority the rest of it you know i mean two-thirds is reverse consciousness and i the guardians talk about i've heard ashana talk about plenty of times that when the soul your soul spirit essence goes into the body 90% shuts off so only 10% makes it to earth makes it into the body that's what becomes a person here okay so wow that's a very that's a that's like 10% of what you really are we're dealing with only 10% but that's why we're awakening our consciousness awakening our consciousness awakening our consciousness bringing in pulling in 4d 5d 60 70 8d 90 these teachings teach you 12d 10 11 12 blow your feet is 12 so this teachings not the new age stuck at seven seven chakra no 12 12 is the christ the christos we're bringing that's what when we say Christ, Christ consciousness we're talking about 12th dimensional consciousness so that's why as a light worker you want to bring in unity consciousness and Christ consciousness into your vessel into your speech into your thinking and then you are a walking talking beacon of omni crystal love baby what's up <laughs> i got my wrist i got i should use my wand give me give me 10 seconds it helps it really helps dude 10 seconds or something like that This is the terahertz wand. There's a link below if you're interested. It's 
$380, but dude, this really, truly works. It uses frequency that goes, penetrates through your body and, and takes, your, takes the problem and issues and fixes the vibration. This is energy, man. That's the future of medicine, is energy. I want to say, and I don't know, Starman's not here, but if he was here, um, I've used this, <laughs> I know it's a little bit embarrassing to talk about hemorrhoids, but I used it on hemorrhoids. You, you get in a weird position and, and use the wand <laughs> on low, on medium setting. You can't do this on high setting. Dude, it, the freaking hemorrhoids go down. No joke, man. I'm talking about with seconds like you just saw. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, so, as a light worker, we're bringing in not dogma, you're bringing in unity, there's no dogma in unity, <laughs> okay, we're bringing in consciousness, in 12 crystals consciousness, okay, we, we, we're bringing in this, uh, and, and we talk about the law of one, I've made videos about the law of one. And you guys can do research outside of my channel with Ashiana's work. You can go look up her name, Ashiana Dean. And we'll have Celine and Little Alien or Indigo or Starman, they'll give you links if you need links. Because um, you can get these for free. You can download it for free. And I had someone make a comment recently on my YouTube channel. Um, please give links to free techniques. You guys... There's plenty of free links, man. You know, uh, I mean, free information, free techniques. Uh, you just have to go search it and find it. Um, I know I don't always like to, to like point people. Well, there's a reason. So there's some people who actually never mind. <laughs> Starman is here. What's up, brother? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Starman's... <laughs> yeah, there's a big mess on this planet. It looks like my comments are behind, but... We have 102 souls online! Welcome, Holy Ones! And I know some of you are light workers. Some of you are knowledgeable about your energies, your consciousness. You're, you're the type of person that meditates. And, and let's get this... I forgot my instance, and, but let's do that. Oh, my lighter. My lighter's right there, you guys. Give, give me a couple seconds. Yeehaw, baby! What's going on? What's going on? No, for real, man. This is awesome. And, and actually, my brother Starman is who introduced this to me. It works on his... It helped his mother. It's helped him. And, and we both have little... Yeah, we're both older guys, so we'll have these aches, and it'll just take care of it, man. And eventually, we'll do everything on our with our own consciousness, but realize that we still need some uh, tech. Some of these things are very helpful. So here we go. And I was, I fixed my truck, you guys. I it. I don't know what was going on, but today when I went this morning, I went to to see if it would work, if I got lucky, and I got lucky and it worked. And so immediately I drove it to a mechanic, got my truck fixed, and this is what I wanted to say, that um, we'll be going to, um, this week, this Saturday, live, is gonna be a drum circle. <laughs> because the drum circles are starting, it, it's now spring, or it's the time, in, at least in Nevada, the, it's warm enough, you know, where I live, it's, Nevada is like Arizona almost, you know, basically, and so, it'll be a drum circle, uh, you two, uh, alive, so, it's very interesting, because, uh, the last time I did it was like six months ago, or something like that, but it's really awesome, it's entertaining, and I will speak at different times of the live, it'll be on a tripod, but at different times I'll move it in throughout the crowd, show you the drummers, show you the dancers. I'm one of the dancers. Um, it's not an official thing. I just I just sit there and, and 
I'm one of the first ones to get out there and start jamming, dude. Uh, because this is a uh, primal. You start feeling it in your body, and you start um, expressing. Um, and I, I had no idea. Before I even got into it, I had no idea what, what this was all about. But then I started going and hearing the drumming, feeling this tribal beat. And it just woke up something to me, you know? And then you're on medicine, okay? If you're on medicine and you're feeling this tribal beat, man, talk about a combination. And plus you're surrounded by other people who are developing themselves spiritually. Not everyone who goes to his drum circle is spiritual, but for the most part, you're gonna find other, well, hippies like me, right? Other people with um, funny clothes. <laughs> My only issue is I don't have my rattle anymore. My my main rattle was broken, so uh, I have these ones. Wait. But it's not the same thing as my rattle. Maybe I should glue it together, but um, when it comes to energy and if it broke, there's a reason, so I want to move on from that, that rattle. But yeah, this is a, a lifestyle, okay? Um, now, you, you, you bring your Christ consciousness to the drum circle. Who knows what everyone else is doing, you know? But I will be representing, standing in my crystals, standing in my, you know, Omni Christmas love, <laughs> and, and uh, so it'll be interesting. And uh, wow, it's like, is the connection okay? <laughs> Starva, Starval, yes, Holy One, try medicine. We're gonna get lit tonight. <laughs> Miriam, it's okay. That time will pass. Maybe another time, right? And you don't have to smoke. You can drink. You can take a gummy. Uh, you, you can eat it. There's different ways to take it, not just smoking. We newbie moons or nubby moons. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, we humans are all potential light workers. It's just whether we can break free of the low frequency energies, which are cleansed and very much held in 3D. And absolutely right. And uh, it's the same with our DNA. All humans have a 12-strand potential. It's in their junk DNA, fragmented, dormant. But every human can make the correct choices. You would say, I don't mean say correct, I mean you make all the choices of awakening yourself. Well, they can gain that potential too. And like you said, we're all potential avatars, man. Light workers, we all have these abilities. Of, we could all activate our psychic abilities, our memories, okay, um, and know how to heal, learn how to heal. We all have that potential. Every single, even if you see a person acting, well, there's Earth is complex because we also have human Anunnaki souls here and human reptilian souls here. We have. Leviathan, a.k.a. Illuminati souls here. We also have starseed souls, and we have earthseed souls. So there's like five different groups main, mainly. Um, not only, but mainly. And so this is, you know, why we're here is we bring the potential, we awaken the potential. That's, that's a better way of saying it. We come here and awaken the higher potential for the other earthseeds. Okay, and anyone else who gravitates to this type of information, this type of frequency, these type of concepts. Not everyone believes in unity. They say, no, not everyone's God. Only believers, only chosen ones are, are part of the energy or connection. Yeah, a connection to God. No, Vatos, that, that's a false creed. That's a darkness. Uh, that's a control system. Um, we're, that's a cult mentality. Uh, we, we are saying, hey, we, we, we can uh, be peaceful with everybody. We can love everybody. We can honor and respect 
everybody. And, and guess what? That's not easy. We're not perfect down here. Um, we're striving for something great, our greater selves, but realize that because of the distortions in the grid, because of the, of the fallen angelic soul essences here, and the ones out there, the ones attacking, you know, controlling and manipulating this whole planet, our nation, other nations, you know, this is part of your awakening. Part of your spiritual awakening is discovering that we're in a spiritual war and it is a huge, huge drama. It involves extraterrestrial malevolent races. Um, and many of them pretend to be love and light, pretend to be your star brother, your star sister. We got all this new age channeling movement. We got the uh, Nibirian councils. We got the uh, Galactic Federation. We got, you know, we got these false systems in place here on Earth. And also these fallen angels are using, extraterrestrials, are using technologies. Now, some of them are planetary technologies. Some of them are implants in your body or there's different things that they have done. Plus, they, they, they go and change and influence, edit our spiritual beliefs, our spiritual texts. Um, they're all religions. According to Voyagers 2, according to Ashiana and the Guardians, all religions have been manipulated. That's a huge statement, right? <laughs> um, can How many religion? Okay, one thing you can check any religion is check. If it, the first thing you can check, is it a patriarchy? There's your answer. That's your first red flag, the biggest red flag. Do they put that, are they putting down devaluing women? Okay. If you happen to find one that doesn't devalue women, that's not a patriarchy. Well, continue to check it for fear. Is it based on fear? Is it built based on shame? Is it based on subservience? Blind worship? Okay? Is it based on uh, judgment? Okay? Uh, these are your red, these are things you can discover if you need to transmute anything out of your life that is in these energies. You guys, these are the energies we we cleanse and transmute and get out of our life, out of our children's life, okay? We bring in this um, unity. There's no hierarchy, hierarchy levels in the divine, in God. What I mean is we're not saying some people are better than other people, okay? We're, that's the false creed, elitist concepts, the false creed. Did you guys notice in the New Age um, angel systems, the angel systems use what? Hierarchy. That doesn't go with, you know, that's the same message as chosen ones. Uh, people think that's good. Oh, I'm a chosen one. No, you're not. That's a false creed. Uh, we're all, if you want to say something about that, say we're all chosen because we're all God. And then of course there's people who don't believe that and let them choose you guys. They choose. You're not meant to try to convince someone. We're not trying to convince anyone. As a matter of fact, you'll hear me say on every live, you don't need to believe in anything I'm saying. Did you hear what I'm saying? If you go to church, will they ever say that? Will they ever say you don't need to believe in God? No, they won't say that. <laughs> it's dogma. You must do this, A and B and C and D, if you want to reach Christ consciousness or the Holy Spirit or some higher connection to God. <laughs> so we think of God as consciousness. We're in the image of creator God as consciousness that is eternal. Okay. Uh, it doesn't die. Actually, nothing dies. It just simply transforms, changes form. Okay. Once you're in the body and the body dies, you're still not dead. Your spirit, your consciousness moves on to the next body. Okay, maybe you'll go into your morphogenetic field for a while until your soul is ready for the next 
incarnation. So, and that's fine. You know, you, you'll stay in your crystal body, in your morph field. And so, um, anyways, you have a set amount of incarnations, holy ones. Maybe this life you're a light worker. Maybe in a previous life you're a shadow worker. <laughs> but, but usually the soul has some type of, you know, consensus amongst its incarnations. Usually a light worker implies maybe some of your other lives are also light workers or, you know, practicing or aligning themselves to the light. Okay, so, but realize that you would have 12 incarnations. There we go with that number 12. 12, you would say six males and six females. And so this is part of who you are. I don't know if any of you are with your soulmate or twin flame, but I mean, it doesn't mean you have to, but it's always a potential that you could meet them in your life. Not always, but there's potential. And so I can't say that I've met mine, but I'm always keeping that option open. I'm not like dead and in the box already. Uh, I have life still. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so we're, we're uh, just simply developing ourselves. And uh, I don't know if anyone wants to get lit. Um, put the little flame emoji in the chat. Uh, this is something that some of us agree to do. Not everyone agrees to do with it, and that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. Please don't judge those who do, <laughs> but some will judge anyways. Um, and we simply don't allow that to disturb you. Don't allow that to disturb your, your spirit. Okay? Um, don't do things for the sake of others. What I'm saying is, if your parents have what you call, they, they want you to do something. You don't have to do something. Uh, if you're a little kid, I'm not talking about being a little kid. I'm talking about, you. you oh, there we go. We got some flames in the house, big time. Woohoo! And uh, I got a new pipe, by the way, but I'm not going to be using that because I got to figure it out first. It's like, like my old grandpa's pot, pipe. You know, that pipe that goes like that, kind of like a Sherlock pipe. <laughs> yeah, baby. And so, yeah, this is... A journey you guys and we learn step by step maybe sometimes we make mistakes you know but don't like become discouraged don't like beat yourself up um, you want to love yourself that's an important aspect in your spiritual growth is loving yourself okay maybe you were brainwashed by your abusive spouse or parents uh, and someone was since you were a little kid putting into your head all these bad things about yourself and now you don't love yourself well we transmute that we cleanse that okay we fix that machiwa we don't allow others to program us to harm us to influence us thank you holy one to manipulate us we're not punching bags if you're in an abusive relationship, leave it. You're in an abusive, you have an abusive boss, leave that job. You don't put up with abuse. You don't put up with vampires in your life. If you go along, you're just encouraging it. It's going to keep on, the, the pattern, the cycle, excuse me, is going to keep on happening. This is why a spiritual journey re requires change. You went on a journey for a reason, right? Um, so whatever that reason is, part of that reason is going to include, well, what you were doing before didn't work, wasn't working. So now you need to make a change in different areas of your life. Food, diet. What's in your cupboard? What's in your refrigerator? Right? What do you eat? How many times a day do you eat? Uh, how many friends of yours do you hang out with are vampires? You know, those are the type of things. <laughs> Sorry, whoever that is outside, their car is being noisy. So, 
this is something that that I don't know about you guys, but you know, even if your own family doesn't get you, right? You're the kind of like the black sheep of the family. <laughs> you're the weirdo that they talk behind your back because you just do weird shit and you're not believing in Jesus. I mean, hey, we talk about Jesus and God, just not from um, from Yahweh's point of view. Jehovah, Allah, Brahma, whatever your God's name is. Wow. I can't have it. I just... So we find uh, higher consciousness. When you go into meditation and you start connecting to your higher consciousness, you guys, it's going to blow you away. It's like extraordinary. It can be extraordinary. You'll experience supernatural things, paranormal things, and it, it's undeniable. Okay? It'll be a confirmation. And so a positive confirmation that you're actually, this stuff is real. Spirits are real. Spiritual energies is real. God is real. So, you know, it's just beautiful, though, when you have these confirmations in your personal experience, in your hologram, in your timeline. Sometimes you got to drop people from your timeline. Mochiwa. Let's take a, let's get lit together, holy ones. Let's bless. Get used to. Remember, it's a lifestyle. Get used to blessing your wacky tobacco or whatever you're doing. Uh, maybe it's a glass of water. Maybe it's your food. Uh, you put intention into it and then consume it. Well, now you it's like alchemy. It's, it's a form of you're bringing that. You charged. You charged. You charged it. Now partake of it. Now you're benefiting from that. Bringing that in. Eternal alchemy. Whatever word you want to use. No, transmitting hand. The right hand is transmitting. The left hand is receiving. Receive, bring in, send out, trans, transmit. Transmit words, energies, intention. Intention is extremely important to a light worker, to anyone developing their spiritual growth. Uh, you put intention, man. Uh, otherwise, the things that are happening in your life are just circumstance. They're just happening. Um, so you want to be active. You want to be an active participant in what happens in your life by continuously. You want to call that being a ma magician or a priest? Go ahead. Uh, because most of the humans don't. Straight up, most humans are not connecting to conscious, higher consciousness or energies. They probably will live their entire life without feeling these chakra energies, which are which is kundalini. They won't feel kundalini. They will. They won't have that experience because they chose not to. Gratitude. Always put gratitude in there. I'll put love in there. Wacky tobacco. It's plugged up, you guys. I'm going to suck hard. do this when it, I can't tilt it upside down so I, I'm gonna have to do something weird oh that's nice
My new pipe doesn't have this, so. I just haven't gotten it out and checked it out. Hopefully that helps. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong, guys. I'd hate to waste this medicine, but I'm gonna have to, to really do it. Yeah, I, I'm wasting medicine, shit. Thanks for your patience. And if it happens again, I will get the new pipe. There's nine holes and I have to take a toothpick into each one. Three, four, five. Well, the toothpick breaks sometimes. Like that one broke. Dude, I use my wrist all the time for the computer and it's acting up recently. Okay, it's clear now. Shit. Sorry guys, this doesn't, this hasn't happened on the show before. I smoked the whole bowl. <coughs> in one, in, you know, at one time. And you know, as a light worker, I consider myself a light worker. I will, I do a lot of this stuff like when I'm alone. I got incense going, I'm doing my prayers. You know, when I say prayers, I mean communication with Elohai, the blue flame Elohai. If you want to say your own avatar, you can communicate, pray to, that's communicating to your Christos avatar. It's you, your own family. You can connect to your own family. <laughs> you can connect to, uh, Your soul, but that's a low level. I would, I would, you know, there's always between one and 11 dimension, there's always the potential for some shadow distortion. That's why you aim high. Either 12th dimension, the Christos level, 13th dimension is the blue flame, 14th dimension, the gold flame, 15th dimension, the violet flame. So I, I connect to the holy evil high, it's pale turquoise. You see a pale turquoise Merkaba, but actually you visualize it in the middle of the earth. So you see a Merkaba field that's pale turquoise, that's holy Elohai. And that's just who I communicate to every night. And I'm always, always bringing in protection. And my Merkaba field, I'll, I mean, I'll create the Maharak shield, but I'm also asking you know, Elohai for, you know, to help guard that. You guys, you're part of that team. You're, this is a team thing. There's a bunch, you're an indigo child. There's, there's those around you uh, in the physical world, but also in the astral or, or archetype or celestial level. They're, they can, 
you, you would say, be invisible to us and still, you know, watch over us? Guardians. People call it guardian angel. Okay, because they're angels. Hello, celestial sixth dimension. That's an angel. So they're angels guarding, guardians guarding you. Your team. There's a reason why we say team indigo. You're part of a team. And we, we're coming from the blue flame, guys. That's our thing. Our, our original bodies have blue skin. We have uh, indigo auras. This is our blue flame connection. What's up? So, as a light worker, you're coming from this, most likely. And so, you realize that you could use what I do, incense. Oh, I didn't do my incense. Hey. <laughs> and pr shield work. Um, prayer, if you want to call it prayer, or just communication work. Um, and you, you just go inside. You go inside to your own avatar. It's you, but a higher awakened version of you. And so, or you can talk to your oversoul level, which is also called the archangel self. Then there's the soul level, also called the angelic level or angel level. So these are all parts of you, light worker. And when you know your parts, right? Now you're now you know that there's a f at least twelve. 12 dimensions of yourself and those are all higher selves everything above the third dimension is higher than you more evolved than you but remember it could be distorted all the way up to the 11th dimension there's a big misconception in the new age channeling movement they think that everything above us is is divine and light you guys that's not how it works. That's not what it is. Um, there can be distortion in the higher worlds. That's because it has to do with stargates and DNA, and they, that was manipulated. And if they manipulated it, it changed the rules. Uh, now it's a new situation. Change the rules, change the mathematics, change the physics. Change your planet. Mess with their fields. Her consciousness manipulated it, corrupted it. Uh, you're part of Earth. Your DNA is is connected to Earth. Well, actually, we're ETs, but you know. <laughs> um, but we have this connection to Earth, literally. So this is important <laughs> that you find a connection to Earth and realize that we go to the core of earth and we work with earth we're beginning our energies through earth she's getting hers from the you know higher systems it's a it's remember i said at the beginning of the, of the video god's life force you call them you can call them creation currents other people call it kundalini it's prana whatever it's coming down god creation currents are coming down it feeds through earth it feeds through you but you know what a fallen angel is? They're not in the living. They're not, they're in a phantom state. So they're not connected to that. They're literally disconnected from life force energy. They don't have chakra. They don't have aura. Well, I meant to say aura. They don't have aura. We have a aura of light. They have no aura. They're darkness. They're phantom. They're reverse consciousness. So, they chose with their own free will that journey. They chose to murder, to sacrifice, to manipulate, to uh, harm, all this horrible shit. That's what darkness vampires do. They do horrible stuff. They're in the scary stuff, the, the controlling stuff, the you know abusive stuff. Um, you see it in your society, abusive stuff. And so... Um, we learn how to become awakened so we can protect ourselves. Not get involved in things now you know through the inner crystals law of one you reminded of. Now you remember you don't want to be part of this system. Which is in a descending earth. Leading you to phantom earth. 
you want to uh, get your spiritual affairs in order, get your energies, get your fourth strand, your fifth strand, and get out of here. Because it's not some uh, global ascension, you guys. That is false creed. That's the dark side saying that. They program you. You're in mind control. Sorry, it's true. You're being mind control, vatos. You've been programmed. You are programmed. Some of us have awakened outside of this matrix. Have you seen the matrix? Wakuya Neo Trinity Morpheus awaken out of the matrix. See beyond the matrix. Okay? Uh, there is dogma here. There is dictatorship here. There is hatred here. There is war. People are still starving. People want to hurt each other. People are abusive. Negative. Selfish. One, one, one. I claim that. Put it in chat, please, somebody. 101 souls online. You know, this is what we find in our everyday lives, man. If it's at home or at work or school, we, we see it in, in our relationships. We see it in society. We see it in commercials and movies. Hey, uh, it's pretty freaking... Uh, thank you, Cosmic Lighthouse. Um... You know, there's a there's something going on. See, remember, part of your awakening is finding out there's some freaking war going on, spiritual war. And so it's real, man. And you can feel it on the spiritual level, psychic level, you know, when you travel, you can see these dark energies in these worlds or other levels in future civilizations. Yeah, my feet hurt because I, I was walking for several miles waiting for my truck to get fixed. 11.55 is the average view duration. Another, some more numbers in the house. 11.55. I claim that. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I got kind of like blisters on my feet. Damn. Chikasma. But yeah, you guys. Uh. Light workers bring in light. We're connected to the original intention of God because there is one. Darkness only exists in holograms. I'll repeat that. The only darkness in God exists in holograms, which is basically coming into the hologram and then somehow forgetting in your next incarnation you don't remember and then now you just have no, you're just acting, however, with no creed. You have no dark creed or light creed. You're just living like an animal would live, right? Making decisions based on survival, um, which is the chakra one, the lowest consciousness. They want you in the lowest consciousness. They don't want you aware. They don't want you intelligent. Okay? These beings uh, consider you property, consider you slaves, um, but they kill, still keep it an illusion. You keep trying to keep you some happiness, some idea of something ideal. Uh, so they will feed to you what is ideal. You're being brainwashed in commercials of what to desire, what to pay for. What to choose as your society image, you know. Chikasma. Where's this incense, man? Um, maybe I forgot the, the little... Yeah, apparently it's right there. Let me grab it. Sorry. Woohoo! Party time! Get it going. Oh! What's up, Mr. 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 Mr
What's up, Vato Locos? What's up, Holmes? How you doing? I want to make a poll, okay? It's going to be asking you a question. You guys put yes or no, or maybe. And then we'll get the results and see what most of you are thinking. Chikas masu. Oye, que wa. Getting it lit. Shoot us. Mochiwa. Yeah, man. Now we can bring it on. Some white, no. Paul Gold. I need small pieces though. Koyema Sot. I feel my whole chest on fire, dude. She got smooth on my third eye. I feel my crown, my solar plexus, my feet. It's 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 lighting up. She got Gold, gold smells good. It's not my favorite, but it is. It's okay. It's got its own style. Here's some frankincense. Now, even if you don't really care for the smell of frankincense, it's still the most, one of the most strongest, the most protective and cleansing. But there's lots of incense, you guys, in the world. I mean, lots of different frequencies of. Botanical. And usually people on a spiritual journey, they're looking into spiritual energy type of healing systems or whatever. And that's exactly what Cathara is. Part of the Emerald Order teachings is a healing system called Cathara. And you want to learn the Cathara. Be a student of Cathara. And it's not just about healing. It teaches you all kinds of shit, man. It introduces you really what the Emerald Order teachings are about. It's literally about bioregenerating your DNA. This is the science of that. Bioregenerating your DNA, because it's right now it's mutated. All of ours. Amber baby, yeah. She was too. Kamasa. Yeah, Amber's got a lot of energy, man. She Blessings, blessings, blessings. Feel good. Experience some joy, some bliss. Oh yeah, some grace. Some kindness. Chi wasu. Bring it. Own it. Own light. Own love. Own omni love. Omni crystal love. Bring it. Bring it into the world. Speak it. Ascend it, share it into the world, holy ones. You are the true Christ, angelic human, crystal avatars. Machiwa. 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 Quies. Find your higher self inside yourself, not out here. That's a, an illusion, a hoax, a lie. You don't look for God out here. It's not some old dude on a throne in the sky. That's for sure. The, the humans made that one. Man, woman made that one. Chikai. Chiwa. <laughs> Sí.
Sikas. You want to know what the Guardians call you? Star seats. They call you the Magi Holy Grail line. Indigo Child. What's up? Awakening. Finding your Chivo Priest Kings, they call us. Magi Kings. Holy Grail line. The Grail line that Jeshua came out of. A priest cast. The priest of Azraelim. Coming out of Sarai's... B. <laughs> Sarai's B. Blue skin humans. Blue skin angels. Blue flame. Speakers of the blue flame. What's up? What's up? We're doing this. Christ has returned to earth in the form of 12th dimensional consciousness. Bring in your avatar to planet earth. You are avatars on earth. You're a spiritual badass. Why do you think I call you holy ones? Some of you got 24 strand indigo child. Type 3. Type 2 has around 36 strand. Damn, that's a lot of DNA. It's a lot of consciousness. But there's 48 strands. Jeshua was a 48 strand. Indigo type 1. Master indigo. Ochiwa, the last known Christ avatar. Shisasiwa. So we are bringing, like, when you guys study this, the Emerald Order teachings, it actually awakens code inside you that's already there. The teachings are a technology to be able to you know, integrate and facilitate a connection to those energies and awaken them with your inner self so it becomes a in your 3D awareness, your mental body is important. Your, it's your mind who connects to the spirit level of yourself through visualization, through imagination. It's an important part of is to see. You see your awakening, becoming enlightened, becoming Christed. Becoming Christed is developing your 12 strands of consciousness. That's what these teaching are. It's called the inner Christ, the inner Christos. Religion doesn't like that. They want to sacrifice, uh, tortured, mutilated um, son of God. So, whoa. I wasn't holding my staff. <laughs> I let it go like this. But yeah, it's like uh, we, we go through this, you would say, shock. There's a shock that you will feel when suddenly, what the F was I believing? Some of you will be like angry. Like you'll go into a phase of anger. Like you, you felt like you were victimized. Um, you felt like someone was against you or someone's attacking you or something's holding you back or something's feeding off of you you know all these feeding i mean we have this like fear coming from that part of ourselves and so it's like something that you heal and grow beyond i mean you guys will get all of this uh memory back to you and you'll start to remember <laughs> even you know your spirit sometimes protects you from bad horrible memories until you're ready and so eventually you'll be ready to start downloading all this memory because some of it's not happy and good remember we, we've been in like war spiritual war and so this is I mean, you obviously have to consider that. 
Because if you're totally oblivious to the spiritual war, to this whole thing with extraterrestrials and and how they're, they call themselves, the Anunnaki call themselves Anun um, Luciferians, and the reptilian race, ET races, are calling themselves Satan. So you got Luciferians and Satanists. Uh, you know, this Baphomet, it's got this appearance. It's got like goat legs and shit. It's got breasts. It's got goat head. It's a freaking demonic looking creature, right? Ukuchivas. So, you know, as a light worker, you m might run into some dark beings who hate you. So, as a light worker, you know, you don't just focus on healing. You're going to be focusing on protection. Because you know, this is a battleground. A spiritual war is a battleground that you will be going through turbulence in your life. Some turbulence will be happening around you and probably within your life. Um, so, we have to be strong, not live in fear. A lot of things are trying to make us afraid or, you know, program us to the end of the world scenario. So we manifest it, you know, because the mind, think about this, you guys, the mind, the consciousness is so powerful, right? Well, what about this? What about a global consciousness <clears throat> coming together? Like you guys become aware, each and every, each of you become aware of the collective consciousness the human tribe human race consciousness that's a collective that you can join and become aware of and hear your thoughts will become billions in the collective there's going to be billions and whatever souls are missing from being dead you know they will return to earth or unless they ascended so, ascension is bringing all your par lower parts up, up, up until you go complete yourself. Until you're regaining all that DNA back that you, reclaiming it. You're building yourself back up. You're, ex you're expanding back into the omnipolar God state. Where you're just the all, the one. I mean, you can connect to this man. It's possible for you, for anyone to, you know, you want to bring in Christ consciousness. That's 12 dimensional consciousness to a 3D world. There's going to be a whole bunch of us. You, me, brother, star, sister, brother. We're going to be bringing in Christ consciousness. 12 dimensional consciousness. That's your uh, six inches below your feet is your, is your 12th chakra. Your Christ star. The one we talk about. You are this Christ star. Think about in meditation, in a silence, in a dark room, uh, see in your third eye, in your inside, you will see, uh, you, you know, because we, we have energy systems that maybe it's not easy to imagine, but there's techniques so we can learn how to um, access our divine blueprint or to fix our bl blueprint you know because right now we're in a distortion you guys and so if they distort the DNA the body template they're gonna distort that distorts the consciousness whatever affects the body affects the consciousness and vice versa if they warp your m mind your, your consciousness then they're gonna w create diseases in the body Disease. So, ease. Disease. Mokoya. And so, we go into this, like, like we're thinking back in our past, and we, like, think about how we used to be, what used to be important to me was disgusting. <laughs> right? 
if most of you are standing in light or you're, you're feeling a lot more light in your life, well, you, used to, you remember well, how horrible you might have been. I don't know about horrible, but you know, pretty messed up. We came a long way to get to where we are now, to be learning about consciousness and spiritual evolution and, and how you go through the ascension and, and awakening and, and you're reclaiming your DNA and or you're, you're, you're actually bio-regenerating your DNA, healing it, reclaiming ascension because you've st been stuck in reincarnation over and over and over. Damn! You need to get your shit together and move, excuse my language, but you got to move on. You got to evolve to the next level. Don't stay at this level and certainly, hey, don't fall to the lower level. That's like, you know how in school you fail and you got to go backwards or something instead of everyone else going forwards. Uh, you, you want to go to the forwarding group. You want to fix your DNA. You use this science to fix your DNA so you can sin, bato. Get the F off of this drama. Because you know what happens in the future in this timeline. Lightworker, what's up? We need you, Jedi. Jedi of light. Jedi of the true, real God. The true, real Christ. Christos. I love you, holy ones. We're the blessed ones. We strive to be blessed. We strive to be our best self. Yes. And in these teachings, you learn how to spiritually evolve yourself, man. Learn how to bring in your Christ avatar. I know some of you think I'm crazy to be holding a staff, but this connects me to one of my past lives as a druid. Well, so, and I don't mean Merlin, that's the dark side. Abraham's the dark side. Understand there's dark beings who you thought were good beings. Uh, don't think it's not impossible. Well, don't say it's, I'm not telling you what to do, but you know, try not to say it's impossible. When beings from in from higher evolution could do magical things, you would think you know it's normal to them, but to us it would be magic. Like a caveman seeing a, a helicopter. Damn! Have you guys seen this movie? It's probably from the seventies, I think, maybe early eighties, called Time Rider. This guy, he's riding his bike, his motorbike. He's in a race or something, and there's some scientists making an ex ex time temporal experiment, <laughs> and this guy just so happens to drive into it. So he goes back into the past on his motorcycle. It goes with him, and some cowboys on horses see this magic. What? That doesn't exist. <laughs> so imagine a cowboy who never seen technology like that just suddenly appear before them what the, what are they gonna think <laughs> what do you think that, you know what, what are they gonna perceive so I love you holy ones what's going on much respect to your spiritual journey I kind of started on time today huh maybe even early we are one collective. You said it, Anna. Anna? Tracy Carroll. Fallen with style. <laughs> Donation? No way. I didn't check. I'm sorry. Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> Much love. Oh, Cosmic Lighthouse. Thank you, Holy One. I must have not watching the screen. I don't want to drop my cane again. It's already falling apart. Thank you, Star Sister. You're awesome, Cosmic Lighthouse. Much love, Star Family. Thank you. 999. I love that number. It's a powerful number. What's up? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ice. 
I solid one. Music Incorporated. <laughs> thank you, Holy One. Stephanie, thank you. Tracy Carroll. Awakening and Bliss. He yo, Sonny. What's up, Sonny? What you doing? Write it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, no donation, thank you. <laughs> you are loved. Holy One, you are too. Lakai, right? Rabbit. Guacamole? Mm, I, I, so so? I guess if I'm eating tortilla chips, I like guacamole, but I don't eat too much Mexican food. But, you know, every now and then, you know, because I'm vegan now, but, but I'm the type of person who's flexible enough to cheat on a day and have some tacos, you know, for example. Um, it's not going to destroy my whole, you know, health. But anyways, some people believe that stuff. But uh, not be so strict. And that's a personal choice. That's my choice. I choose not to be so strict. I can say, okay, if some family member wants me to eat meat with me or something, I will. You know, I don't want to, you know. Anyways, it's not like I used to have, like, man, um, you would feel guilty of eating meat. Or, and then you go through that stage of guilt until you get sick of it, of of keep on doing that, you said, I can't do this anymore. So you finally go become vegan. Um, but you know, it's, there's more to it than that in the spiritual journey. That's, but we do all the things that are, we think are going to help that journey, right? We try to find ways to even do it better or faster, right? Don't you want to sin? I want to sin. Do you want to sin? Thank you for those emojis, honey. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> We've got this. You got this. You're not alone. You got your avatar angel oversoul looking after you. I'm about to release some. I'm about to drop some angel artwork tomorrow, I think. I got some good pictures I want to, you know, offer to you guys on my Etsy. So, and I want to say you guys, if any of you are being helped by this information, do you like any of this information or resonate with it? Please consider supporting Chrysalis Avatar. And I thank you in advance for the gift of $5 or whatever you feel called, right? Um, it, because with your help, you know, we can reach more people. And I, you help your brother, Anuhazi, Davian, survive. Thank you for that, my members who are already members. And so join the team because you could also get the, you would say, connection to the discord server chat so you can come and join the conversation um, we chose that app because it's a lot of people are familiar with discord and it's an usually used with for live streams of video games right but i'm not playing a video game but oh, oh you can um create rooms and just let people talk in it and chat and that's what we have we have rooms also but you can just chat in general chat. Please join the team, you guys. Um, this, and, and you can also support this group, this work by buying one of my paintings, my artworks, I mean, um, or becoming a paid member also helps. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, thank you, Celine. She left a link <laughs> of my artwork. Um, yeah, you guys, it's a great blessing to be here with you. And to be able to teach this information, I feel honored to do it. It's like makes me happy. <laughs> and I, and you, it's like, you know, if you're a light worker, you get this like a little bit of suffering because you don't want other people to suffer, and you, but you'll suffer as you're trying to work so hard and help bring this information or you help bring your healing, help bring your energy, whatever, because a lot of us resonate with being a starseed. That we know we're from another world. We feel this drive, this desire to help, and, and you care. You just naturally, like, organically care. And you want to make a difference. You want to help and heal. 
and you want to be knowledgeable about these arts of healing and you know maybe even some people want to know how to astral project that's not recommend i've heard ashiana say that too it's not recommended to astral travel nowadays because of, of the dangers is similar to the dangers of channeling excuse me because they're they're actively getting involved these energies they're seeking you out and so we waken figure out what they're doing transmute it from our life and now we're free to now kind of like a fresh start um we can we can admit that we made some mistakes maybe right give yourself some leeway okay don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes um it's because it's interesting i i call everyone holy one and i was kind of like sick back because somebody reacted to that and they said i'm not holy i'm like okay blessed one you, you if you tell yourself that you're not holy you're making it so you know so that's a program you're hypnotizing yourself in a negative way Ooh, you're affecting yourself she is so don't be stuck in that be free holy ones in your heart in your mind you're free you're not you don't have to you know be nailed to the cross you don't have to feel like you're a horrible guilty sinner like this person says i'm a sinner okay so you're a sinner now because you just made it so that's how powerful our mind is see you could turn that power around for the good if you wanted to but you're so people are so into depre being depressed instead or being uh you know boom the negative things like egotistical and think you're better than everyone and and, and so there, this this trend seems to continue we don't break free from this spiritual bondage so we're just uh being you can call that being stuck in a rut <laughs> um and just understand that while people talk about reincarnation well it, you're not meant to keep on reincarnating over and over again that is that's a big sign you guys that something's wrong on on earth and there is and so you're learning about that through these emerald order teachings mceo mckelzadek cloister emerald order so teaches you about christ consciousness and unity consciousness medusa stones thank you holy one i appreciate you very much much respect <laughs> and uh thank you for uh being part of this uh, live so you guys understand that your energy is here and we're, we're holding space in this frequency okay we're trying to reach that christ frequency within ourselves and within the world bringing it you know i i sit here i'm not trying to battle these religions I, i'm trying to open a dialogue with them to make you know to trigger a, a inner inner introspection to go inside and think about the some of the things i'm saying because i'll see some people it, these videos are really making a difference they, they say it and so like i had i think it was today or yesterday i read someone say i changed your life or this message or this information changed your life so it helps me feel good as a healer i'm trying to help heal others I'm trying to heal myself i'm not perfect you know and I, I'm, I'm pretty open about that kind of stuff uh, you know most people would be embarrassed to talk about some of that stuff i just you know it's not embarrassing to me i'm down to earth and i don't expect everyone else to be but there's some of you out there who are down to earth it's not good you could you know it's be embarrassing if you're in your pajamas or whatever you know some people are so critical some people are so judgmental um where do you think they, they get that from that's a personal choice and maybe that person isn't even mindful they're not even aware of what they're saying or how they're affecting others 
They're too into themselves. They don't see beyond uh, the third chakra, which is what? The ego. They don't see beyond the ego. There's a big heart here, your heart chakra. You want to open that up, have some humanity, have some, you know, care, care about this part of our people. You know, you know, because people want to go into these brackets, you know, or groupings, your labels. I am this. Oh, society tells me I'm that. My parents want me to do this. Don't do things for other people. Do th you know, well, actually, I'm not trying to twist the message. I mean, like some people have expectations on you. You don't have to do their expectations. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and, and think about this. If they're consistent, I mean persistent, they don't give up. That's becoming vampiric. Don't allow that. Say, sorry, I'm cutting this off now. Be, be firm. Loving, respectful, but be firm. You know, there is something called tough love. There's soft love. But other times you need tough love. But it's still love. How you doing? <laughs> Much respect to my homies. Ah, it's the new month of March. What's the energy uh, forecast for March? We just awakening. How's that for a forecast? Are you awakening? Do you feel it? Come on, man. We got lit. You got lit. Are you lit in life? Are you lit in your soul? Are you lit in your consciousness? Bring it. Bring on ascension, man. I'm ready. <laughs> Own it, man. Say, I am Christ star, baby. I'm going to make a t-shirt. I hope you get it. I am Christ star. And have a big old fat, a big juicy star. In this uh, chrome color. That's the, well, Christ star is pure white. But the Maharata ray, which is a pillar of freaking protective energy. Um, which is 11th dimensional and 12th dimensional put together. Remember? dark silver or dark gray mix it with pure white that's what we did earlier today the Merkaba pure white Merkaba mix it with the pure dark silver Merkaba it becomes this chrome Merkaba like a liquid mercury Merkaba it's called liquid light liquid light Merkaba it's a silver uh, a, not silver it's more of a like I said I described it <laughs> like liquid metal, C liquid chrome, badass baby, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> you awakening man. This stuff ain't mysteries. There were just been hidden ideologies, people manipulating your, your ass, you know, your history. What do you think they're teaching you in school? <laughs> What's up, homies? So you make the choice. What do you decide? Right? You can't ch change or control what someone else decides. That would be going against their free will. Are you doing that to people? Going against their free will. That's the dark side. Come on, guys. You shouldn't be judging anyone, criticizing anyone. Let them be who they are and would want to be. You don't interfere with their free will. That's their free will. That's their choice. And you're making your choice. You wouldn't want someone... Think about this. You wouldn't want someone taking away your free will or choice. Making you, oh, you must choose this. See, that's what the false God says. That you have to do this. You have to find God's mercy. You know, God doesn't need your worship because God is the one producing life force energy. God has all the energy in the universe and creation. 
It's God is the true God is creator is not lacking. <laughs> I don't know. It took me so long to, to verbalize it. God is not lacking in anything. It doesn't need anything from you. It doesn't require anything from you. It just loves you unconditionally with, with Omni Crystal's love, baby. No lack in God. God doesn't need your worship, man. That's taking energy. Worshiping is sending energy to some being. God doesn't need you to send it energy. It has plenty. It's the one giving you energy. God gives you energy. You're, you're using God's current your chakra. Your red ray is coming from God. Your orange ray, your yellow ray, both coming from God. Your heart, blue, this is life force currents. And your te template has these frequencies. You're created with these energies, holy ones. You're meant to access your higher powers, your higher consciousness. You're meant, this is evolution. This is what is evolution. You bring it in higher consciousness, bring in higher ideas, higher ideals, you know, values, a more uni unity type of civilization. A unity civilization would be freaking awesome. With that, if you guys can come in unity as a people, as a planet, you could become immortal within 10 years or less. I would say within like two years or three years, they can make humans immortal. If we switch to a unity consciousness, excuse me, I'm a neck. If you switch to unity consciousness, diseases would be cured. Um, people wouldn't need money because this is a whole different civilization. Um, and so, it would be in a huge d development of growing. You don't have people trying to hold you back. No one's holding your spirit down or your creativity down or your opportunities down. You thrive. You're all thriving. And now you're just going to be creators. You're just going to create. So create. You're creators, man. Not destroyers. Not bringing down life. Not suffering life. Not, and you shouldn't be suffering yourself. Okay, you're meant to be in a blessed state. You're meant to come to here and be happy. That's what God intended or wanted for you to be happy. So, but people chose otherwise. They get caught up in the dark. You would say, they, they are literally intervening with your, your spiritual development, you guys. I mean, that's their... That's their agenda. They don't want you to become enlightened. So these beings created a bunch of false systems. It's brilliant. Now you're following a bunch of false spiritual systems, even reverse ones. You learn to do your market, but not the right way, but the reverse way. You know, this is energy and now you're taking energy life force energy and reversing it. You're taking Kundalini. Imagine reverse Kundalini. Dark energy. Harmful, hurtful, uh, no thank you. So it's going to harm you, not heal you or transcend you like you want. But that's what you find out there in the occult, in the, in the, you know, People who don't believe in God or whatever. They're, they're just lost. <laughs> they're stuck in the matrix. They see individuality and that's it. They don't see a unity. They don't see... You, you know, to understand unity, you have to see in your mind how God... Everything is inside of God. We're all thoughts of God. We're in the unified field of God. Some people can't see that. They just see an individual out here who 
judges and you know has all these expectations of you <laughs> or else you're going to be in torture forever and ever in torture and they'll watch with the ar archangels they'll watch I got that verse in the Bible today so they will watch someone being tortured huh you see this message the lake of fire is torture torment and I was reading one of those verses today on my back you guys sorry I my my walk was kind of brutal my my I think I have blisters on my feet <laughs> I, I didn't have my tinnies, that's my problem. But I didn't know I was going to go for a long walk while my truck was being fixed by the mechanic. I'm just glad it got all done. I did some grocery shopping. I ran out of lemons. I ran out of all kind, a lot of stuff. And, but I got to replenish everything. What's up, Bato Locos? How my homies doing? Thank you, Voyager. Cool name, too, by the way. <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't taken. You're lucky to have that one, right? <laughs> but yeah, we're all Voyagers, homies. Uh, Cosmic Lighthouse asks a question. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I haven't even eaten yet today. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I do drink tea, so that's something. What do fault? What do you do when false light worker continues to claim they are the light, but they are full of lies and hate? Well, that's what I was talking about earlier today. Thank you for the asking too, by the way. Um, you put boundaries in your life. You don't let these people affect you. Uh, let them think of highly of themselves if they want to. Right? <laughs> They're just going to do it anyways. And there's, it, you know, and you don't. Sometimes we feel like we need to respond or they can't get away with that kind of attitude. But you guys, you got to realize in the law of one, in unity, you just, you learn to just let that go. And, you know, like people like me, I gravitated to be being alone. And because people's, other people's energies and I don't know, when you get serious into being a, like a priest of light and actually doing type of work regarding this information and sharing it with others, teaching others, whatever, um, it becomes like really like sacred to you and like important to you and serious to you. Machiwa, little alien, emo things, much love, or Simo. What's up, Simo? See more things. Lakshmi, boundaryless, bound, boundaryous, boundaryous. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, boundaries. <laughs> okay, gotcha. What's up, Fatos? Sony, Sunny. I haven't. I, I I mean, I'm sure people claim it, right? Um, my dad's like eight, hitting his 80s, right? What the shit? Is my dad that old? Well, let's say he's 20 years older than me, so that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Um, oh, 73. Maybe a... I don't know why I said 83. Sorry. Uh, I knew that was wrong. <laughs> 73. But he's been smoking it long. That's long term, dude. And he's still smoking to this day. So he doesn't have any effects from it. Except that he's just simply older now and having regular Alzheimer's and shit. And like the people before him did, you know. I plan on using this consciousness as long as I will be down on this planet and keeping myself regenerated and not letting myself fall apart like most humans do. Because we are in a freaking spiritual war. That, that means your health is under attack. 
and they want you to be diseased and effed up. They're, they wonder why there's no cures be, or they're not even allowed to be said something's a cure because they don't want you to have any type of potential to fix yourself and heal yourself. They don't allow cures. It's corrupt, obviously. It's against you and your health. That should make you think, man. What? Why can't I heal myself? So people will do it anyways, you know? People are going to heal themselves. And not always look at the medical uh, suggestions. You know, suggestions. Like my, my neighbor, you guys, I told her she has cancer or... She's just so frustrated with the medical industry. It makes her crazy. She, she doesn't want to deal with those people. Um, but yeah, it's like they make money off of your dying, you know, your sickness and disease. They make money off of it. Why would they want to fix you? They want you on a, on a continuous subscription, baby. They want you getting their billions and billions of dollars of pharmaceuticals every year. It's a it's freaking high level freaking uh, you know enterprise drugs for sale, expensive pharmaceutical prescription. Honey, go get my prescription. Or you go send your kid after your prescriptions. I can't use that word, that hashtag too much. Drugs, you know. Um, not drugs. Because that stuff is not good for you. It's dangerous. What do you think it does to your light body when you take some drug like that? What does it do to your light body? You know, there's some things that are anti-pronic. Certain foods are anti-pronic. You take them. I think one of them is garlic. Now, if you don't give a shit about your prana, well, okay. A light worker does give it, give it, you know, does care. A light worker is actively, it's called spiritual hygiene so kind of like what we do here with incense which is we'll go for like 15 more minutes okay guys so i'll put some more incense down i gotta get a rattle for the drum circle man um maybe you guys can write to me what stores are good for getting some type of spiritual rattle shaker. I don't need shakers. I got shakers. I just need a rattle, like a like a shaman rattle. Like, yeah, like a shaman rattle. It doesn't have to be all that, but ow, there is some. Like Guitar Center or some place that sells, you know, musical instruments is probably going to ha have that. I mean, this is where I got the Apple one from the Guitar Center. And I had a banana one. I was just going to try to get kids involved, so maybe they would think that was interesting. <laughs> But yeah, man, there is already on my channel a, a drum circle video. You just have to go to my channel, do the search bar for me, my channel, and type drum circle. It should come up right away. If you want to watch it to get an idea of what's going on. And this is going to be the first one of the year, so I think it should be a big one. Hell yeah, baby. So I'm not, I'm not that's why I made sure I got my truck fixed because I, I, I got to go to that. It's a big drive for me. It's like an hour away or something. I think it's longer than an hour. So, but yeah. You guys also, you know, 
will want to learn some type of hands-on healing. And if you learn Kathara, it is like much greater than you could possibly imagine compared to Reiki. You would be able to bring in 12 dimensional current. That's what the purpose of the Kathara bio spiritual healing does. You know, learn how to use it, that current, the Christ current, the crystals current. We're, we're workers of light, but we're also worker, workers of Christ. But, you know, Christos, 12th dimensional energy. We're workers of 12th dimensional consciousness called Christ. So, oh, excuse me. We're like working Christ codes. We're working Christos. Um, it's like a, what humans originally are as a proto, our proto-human version our angelic version, there is an angelic level of the human race and in the higher universe because we're in the series of universes. That's why I call it multiverse and because it's more than one, multi, multiverse. And so we go through these multiverses. Um, we uh, evolve or de-evolve. <laughs> Um, depending on free will, because I have it, you have it, everyone has it. Religion tells you you don't, but you, you're still thinking the thoughts that you want to. It's free will. Um, you make free will choices. You decide if you're going to go along with religion or, or maybe you're going to change to spirituality or the crystal spirituality. And so this is the original seen Christian teachings. This is what Jeshua, Miriam... And John the Baptist were teaching the real ones, and so because there's actually another set of characters coming from the false Jesus, because there is one that's connected to Yahweh, God Yahweh, Father God Jehovah. Um, people call them by different names. Uh, I just recently talked about this being, <laughs> and it didn't go viral or nothing, but it does have like thirty thousand views on Instagram. Um, and in my, I think it's 40,000, 40,000 views now. So a lot of these topics like Toth are popular. Um, I'm sure if I make a Galactic Federation video, it's going to be huge on my channel, probably at least over a hundred thousand or 200,000. Like my inner earth video hit over 300,000. So there's, I get to find out what kind of topics people really want to hear you know i mean what, what's most more popular you know so much love to you homies and i got a new membership coming up i'm gonna make a new membership around the 33 dollar mark and i'm gonna be it won't be videos but it's gonna be a whole bunch of articles you guys will have a whole bunch of information coming about the inner crystals teachings and it'll be like $33 or up. So, um, cause some people are sitting in the um, Rishi level already. So, and there is a, a level, the ascended master level. So I think that's what I called it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know. It's going to be incredible. Especially if we're doing this kind of like discovery, this evolution, this healing to gut together. It's beautiful, I think. Um, we're just like uh, awakening to ourselves. Like indigos awake, become awake, and then they help others awake. And remember, we don't approach it with dogma. We're not telling people what to do. We're not acting like we're better than them. Come on. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be, you know, first of all, listeners. Listen to what they, you know, let, let them articulate what's going on with them. And then you, and if they're asking for your advice, then there you go. That's an invitation. It's not against their free will. Okay, I mean, you still would want to be kind. You want to be judgmental to them in your message. If you're trying to be light, you guys, you get rid of that and within yourself. You clean that part of yourself up. 
let, let, let's say there's those people who are trying to get off cussing all the time. Well, they catch themselves when they do cuss. All right? So when you ever have a bad habit, catch yourself when you're doing it. That means become mindful. Let it go. And then this, it'll be a matter of training yourself. And so you get rid of a bad habit. I, I had to do that was sometimes when I want to stop smoking or stop doing something like stay up too late or stay up too early. Well, um, we just focus. Choose with our free will. Connect to our higher intention. What does your higher self want? What does your soul want? Because we're the incarnate level. What does your soul want? with your life why did well, why did spirit why did soul your soul level create you project you so we go within we get communication from ourself not another spirit our own spirit our own self and, you know, I'll even get these religious people claiming blasphemy to me. I mean, they're the ones talking messed up and negative. Um, we're talking about how, about the negative things in the Bible that's in Scripture. That's why you can leave chapter and verse and just say, look, hey, there we go. That's what, that's what all, all we're talking about. Look, notice this. You don't notice it. So... Notice it and make a decision. That's all. No dogma. Attached. Okay? And it's coming from a space of love, even though, excuse me, even though I've been claimed otherwise, I've been claimed to be Satan. <laughs> I'm Satan. And um, I'm trying to keep you from your salvation or something. <laughs> You know, th these people talk dangerously. They talk threateningly. And they call themselves religious people. That is, let me ask you this question. Isn't your religion supposed to make you a better, good person? Right? But you're not talking like it because you're damning me. You're preaching at me. Oh, I'm going to go to the lake of fire. No, seriously. This was a message on TikTok today. I'm going to the lake of fire. Uh, hello, you're the one falling into phantom, which is called the lake of fire. The guardians don't call it that, but religious people do. The guardians call it the phantom matrix or the phantom universe. Uh, parallel, no, that's something else. The, the, the part of creation that reversed in life free, life force energy. It's an actual property that it's possible to have anti-God, anti-Christos energy. It's a reversal of it. That's why we have avatars, but we also have dark avatars. Can you imagine? You don't want to be imagining darkness, right? So... It's been like a, a long, long war because we were already wiped out in human seeding one. This was 25 million years ago. Human seeding two. Uh, first of all, seeding one was wiped out by the Anunnaki. The set, heating seem, human seeding two, we were wiped out by the reptilians. And then human seeding three... Uh, and, and you guys, this has to do with Lemuria and Atlantis. Our human seedings, our history has to do with coming out of Lemuria and Atlantis. Even though scientists say that doesn't exist. Religious people will say that doesn't exist. It, it, this is the guardians, the Christos beings telling you, yes, it does exist. Um, hello, uh, round tables, King Arthur. Okay, this is... Uh, not exactly what you think, but this is talked about too in the teachings. Some historical, 
like historical figures like Enoch are talked about in these teachings. You get to learn about Toth and what he represents. Um, Ashana talks about Toth on a personal level. You know how she remembers her past lives. She remembered one of the times she dealt with him uh, more than once. She, she called Toth as a very prideful person who would always try to seduce, you know, come to women as a very masculine, beautiful man. And, and, but to, to older men or some, or other people, they, he would just appear as an old man. And apparently this is what Drumvalo Mikilzadek experienced. He would come to him as a, like an older man or some spiritual being or something benevolent, all this. So, yeah, it's all something that we have to have discernment. You have to check this for yourself, holy ones. I mean, yeah, dude, I have blisters. This sucks. And I'm supposed to be prancing around by Saturday. I don't know how I'm going to be healed by Saturday. <laughs> but just so you guys understand, don't trip out. Um, it's just a drum circle. And we, we bring firewood. We light the fire and the, drum, the drummers are around it. It's called a circle. So we go in a circle. And, uh, and it will be interesting because it will also be turning nighttime. I'll have to end up camping in a desert out there. That's fine with me. It's, a, it's, it's like a flat dunes. Uh, it's just flat ground. And so anyways, yeah, it's, it's like a, it will, it will be interesting and you guys will be able to hear the drumming <laughs> and you'll probably see some people close to the camera and stuff dancing or whatever, but all ages go there. All types of people go there. It's very interesting to even to, to be part of that. And if I, any place I go, if there was ever a drum circle, I would just be, you know, vibing it high big time and, and be, be uh, kind of like uh, motivated to, to, to bring out this dance. You know how I can bring light language, but I also can bring this traditional or uh, ancient type of, you know, dance. <laughs> As a shaman, because in my other lives, I know I've lived as Native American chiefs because I've seen them and I heard them speak languages. Um, so, you know, one of the things you experience when you become psychic and get in open, activate yourself, you get to experience stuff like that, man. Maybe some of you don't want to, right? But um, in your awakening, you, you have these like psychic potentials and so anyways you guys i'll be finishing it up tonight for now um it's been a long day i'm i'm, I'm feel hungry and tired and so much love to all of you this is this is a always a, a joy to and a something i look forward to is being able to be with you guys and share it together and learn together we're, we're, we're all voyagers. We're on a voyage. Let's go on this voyage together. We're voyagers, Fatos. Emerald Co Covenant, Emerald Order, Voyagers. What's up? Christos, Voyagers. Christ Consciousness, baby. Unity Consciousness. Omni Christos Love. Don't judge, just love. <laughs> I made a video about that today. Joy, love, peace right it won't even be a popular video that's what's sad it's all they all like my the the scary videos uh, when it comes to love and you know sentient they're not interested i love you guys thank you for coming to my live thank you who made the donations today if any of you want to you can still support this channel there's still time 
Um, you can go to my links, go to my uh, Patreon, go to the uh, Etsy shop. I love you guys. Thank you to my moderators, Little Alien, Celine, Indigo Wizard, and Starman, my Vatos, Priest of Light. Priest of light, homies. Light workers in the house. Shine your light. Stand in your light, holy ones. Get in a conversation with somebody this week about Christ consciousness or unity consciousness. That's a good one. Maybe some people are touchy about Christ, but they will talk about unity. Talk about unity, baby. Wow, we got a new angel. Yeah, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter Maver, for joining the community. Much respect, brother. Now you get uh, the 2024 or the 2022 time matrix map diagram. You can also join the Discord server. Blessings. Thank you for joining the, the family. It gets bigger. It will get bigger. <laughs> Namaste, Bato Locos. Hope you have some lucid dreams, honey. What's up, Batos? Yeah. <laughs> you got this. Don't be discouraged. Instead, be the opposite. Be, be excited and charged up. You're going to make a change in yourself and the world. That's what we're about. Change. Trans transformation. Healing. Heal that karma. Take out the old... Bring in the new, yeah. <laughs> Blessings to you from the Guardian Alliance. Blessings from the joy, the love, the unconditional love, the bliss of God. Being blessed by the bliss of God. Sometimes go on a medicine spirit journey, honey. What's up? Bring it in. Go deep. Expand. See those other worlds, other dimensions. And don't even care what other people think. You're on your journey, your spiritual journey. You want to go to ascension. You want to be coming to your new body, your new history. I've seen it with my eye. Have you seen it with your eye? Someday you will. Keep on doing this work. Namaste. I am Christ Star. I am Christ Star. I am Christ Star. My chiwa. My mouth is so dry. Let me try. There's one more drink in here. <clears throat> I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. I am God. I am sovereign. I am free. And know it and believe it and see it and tend it. What's up, Fato Jedi's homies? Holy Christ avatars. Magi Grail kings. Holy Grail line priest kings. Orphine, Azerites, Lirin Anuhazi, what's up? Blessing. Much love. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um Shaddai Ure Akum Tun. Um Shaddai Ure Akum Tun. Um Shaddai Ure Akum Tun. Shita Smut.